Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Invest some time and energy in doing this well. The Buddha talks about two kinds of wealth, the material wealth and the noble wealth. He doesn't say that material wealth is bad, but noble wealth is a lot better. Because you can have a lot of material wealth, but if you lack noble wealth, what does it mean? One of the forms of noble wealth is conviction. Conviction in the Buddha's awakening, which means conviction in the principle of action. That you do have choices. Your actions are based on your intentions, and the quality of the intention will determine the quality of the results. In other words, it focuses on the power of the mind. If you have conviction in that, then you invest a lot in doing good things, training your mind. If you don't have conviction in that, what, what purpose does being alive serve? All you have is just pleasures and pains. And you run after the pleasures, and they last for a while, and then they go away. And then they're replaced by pains. You just keep running and running and running around like this. And there's nothing really that you can hold on to. Whereas if you have conviction in the principle of your actions, you can hold on to the principles of virtue, the principles of being skillful. And they give meaning to your life. The choices that you make do have meaning. It's not simply a question of which color of car do you like or which color of paint would you like in your house, which doesn't really matter all that much. You really can make a difference in the amount of pleasure or pain that you cause yourself and cause other people. And you can work even further to find something that doesn't change. Because that's the message of the Buddha's awakening, that we can, through our actions, find a happiness that doesn't leave, doesn't depend on conditions. And we can work toward that as making skillful choices every day, every day. So it gives meaning to our everyday choices. And a life with meaning is a wealthy life, a life with promise, a life with potential that's realized. If you were to lack that conviction, there's not much that you'd have chasing things that slip through your fingers and causing a lot of trouble for one another. So remember that the most important wealth in life is noble wealth. And where do you gain it? You gain it by training the mind. Some forms of noble wealth are the assumptions you make in order to train the mind, and others are things that come about as a result of training the mind. Like you have to assume the principle of action. But then the discernment that comes from that, that's going to stand you in good stead for a long time. So cultivate your noble wealth. And as for material wealth, it comes and goes. Learn how to use it well when it does come as an investment in more noble wealth. And when it goes, well, remember, it's teaching you the lesson that if you really want to find true happiness, you can't look at for things outside. You've got to look for things inside, because that's where the really good things in life are going to be found.